Hi everybody, good morning and welcome to the B-Boss channel. My name is Ryan, and I am glad to have you on here for another week where we break obstacles in online business. Today I'd like to talk about video editing software and how you can overcome the obstacle of finding free user-friendly software to edit and organize your videos for your online business. When choosing a video editing software, it's common to want to look at four or five options before making a decision. The same goes for picking a domain registrar or a website hosting company. For some reason, we always believe that the more options we see, the easier it will be to make a decision. But I believe that creates another obstacle in itself. Remember, it's all about getting started. That's why today I only want to look at three free video editing softwares that you can use to help you edit your videos in case you're in that bubble where you're undecided and wondering whether you'll make the right or wrong decision. So let's get started. The very first free video editing software we are going to look at is called Shotcut. Shotcut is an open source, free software that has been around since the mid 2000s. Shotcut is cross-platform, meaning it can work with different operating systems like Windows, Mac, or Linux. I love Shotcut because it doesn't just edit videos. You can use it to also edit your images or pictures or even your audio and music pieces all in one place. The Shotcut interface is simple and user-friendly, although if you're seeing it for the first time, you might be thinking it's a lot to take in, but it will grow on you as its functions become easier to understand with continued editing. Shotcut is also great because it supports a lot of drag and drop features. You can pick your videos and images from different folders and dump them right into the playlist to start editing straight away. For you to use it, you just have to go to the timeline and create a project. You can go to the track operations, set up a video and audio track to insert your work and start editing. You can use these icons on the timeline toolbar to clip and trim your videos. You can apply filters to different segments of your videos. You can transition between clips by using the drag feature. And of course, you can also apply different filters to specific scenes within your video. It takes a short while to master, but isn't a hustle to operate in the slightest. Once you're done editing, you can click the export file button and create an MP4 video that will be ready for upload to your socials. Shotcut is also great because it has many tutorials for you to learn from that you can access through the help tab. Of course, the added advantage of this software is that it's free and won't have any watermarks attached to your final product. Overall, I'd say if you're getting started in video editing, Shotcut is the right software for you. It's free, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it does the job. The next editing software that you can use for your projects when starting out is called OpenShot. OpenShot is also great for beginners or for anyone that needs basic video editing work for their videos. OpenShot is free, easy, and simple to use. It's also cross-platform and can be used with Windows and Mac software. The OpenShot interface has some similarities to Shotcut. You can arrange all your project files and use the timeline to organize your video and audio files. You can play with the different transitions when changing from frame to frame. You can opt for the common transitions or explore more options. You can play with the effects and do this for audio or video in case you want to add some spice to your edits. And then finally you can add emojis or different symbols to your videos if you want to emphasize different reactions in your story. It's really simple and straightforward. OpenShot also has some templates for your titles that you can exploit if you're lacking inspiration. Once you're done editing your videos, all you have to do to upload them is to hit the red button and create a file that you can upload to your channel or your social networking platforms. You also don't have to worry about any watermarks after editing your videos. I would recommend it as well if you're getting started with video editing. Not too complicated and simple enough to do basic video editing work. If you are still not satisfied with the options, however, and are still somewhat confused about what direction to take, maybe because you're thinking you want something more advanced within the beginner or intermediary range, then allow me to happily introduce the next editing software which is called the DaVinci Resolve. I know it sounds like a part three of a hit movie and don't feel bad if you confuse it for one when you get it started up because it actually does look like a great piece of work. DaVinci Resolve isn't for beginners. The video editing software is built for people that want to transition from the simple basic editing interfaces to a much more advanced editing platform. The DaVinci Resolve is a little more sophisticated when it comes to video editing, but the reason I recommended it is because it's just technical enough to allow a beginner to use it as a stepping stone into the world of more advanced video editing. DaVinci Resolve can do more than just basic video editing. 
Before you download the free version, make sure you have the right hardware to do so because it's a more advanced editing software. For you to use it, you should have a computer with the right memory and processing speed just to get the best out of it. DaVinci Resolve is great for you if you want to transition from basic video editing to a more advanced level. You don't need to know everything at the start of course, but you can learn with free access to some of their training programs which you can access through the help tab as well. There are a lot of videos for you to go through. I would only recommend DaVinci Resolve if you are serious about video editing down the line in your future somewhere. Otherwise, if it's just for everyday basic vlogging, then the first two video softwares we looked at, which is OpenShot and Shotcut can work well for you. DaVinci Resolve is free, but they have a paid version with even more advanced features, which goes for a one-time fee of $295. DaVinci Resolve is cross-platform. It can work for Mac and Windows computers, as well as Linux. You can trim your videos, use transitions, add special effects, and use a whole host of other great tools to create your desired videos. But again, only use it if you need or want to upgrade your editing skills, not just if you want to do basic video editing. Now, does that wrap up the video editing softwares in today's market out there? No, it doesn't. As I said before, it's better to make a quick choice from a few so that you get started, which is what it's all about, getting started. Otherwise, if you still want to do more research on video editing, I will recommend at least three more video editing softwares, which are PowerDirector, Lightworks, and VideoPad. Again, they can all get you started on your editing journey, but they would be access to requirements if you just picked one of these three that we talked about. So now that's finally it. Get started. Pick one software from these three options and start editing away. You can always learn from the available tutorials if you want to master the skill really quickly. I hope this was helpful in making a choice for your video editing software. If you liked the video, then share with a friend and hit the subscribe button to break more business obstacles in online business. Happy editing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.